Hey everybody, you're watching GT Sam. I'm Sam, and tonight we're back outside again in the cold with my Acura TL from 2005. Not my babe over there, right here. So this is the one that I bought for a good price and has transmission issues. We're still on the fence of what exactly it could be, but I have a lot of suspicions. It could be very accurate to what it could be. And I think all we have to do is probably some basic maintenance keep upkeep items to this and i think we could really help out this car come back to life and salvage the transmission and make sure it's not a complete loss so what are we going to do tonight well i got all the oem parts right here got a whole slew of them right here but the most important one is here this oem acura honda transmission filter this is crucial to it now all these other parts as you see right here you're going to need these as well and a few more i only go oem on this and the oem fluid is specifically for using stuff on the transmission there's no questions about it no time to guess no time for games you need the serious stuff you need it to done right the first time and you don't want any failures so only the best in oem tonight we're going to go ahead and do three and three drain and fill you see right here this is the only stuff i like to use you cannot use max life valve line valvoline whatever you can temporarily but to have it in your car for long term no that's not formulated for this you cannot use anything else you cannot use anything generic you have to use acura honda oem spec for your acuras and hondas this is exactly what i have i got my 12 case right down here i love buying them from acuras it's always a great feeling to do that so we have this we got tools and we got the fluids and we're about ready to go so I'll try and be as detailed as I can, but I'm going to make another video later on about this with my personal TL. And actually, this is one of my favorite jobs to do on especially the TLs. It's actually not as bad as you would think. If you're just doing a drain and fill, transmission filter change, and a little bit of the gaskets, not too bad. And you are getting maximum life out of some components that are crucial to the transmission. I love it, and I don't know if it's a weird thing to say for working on a car, but I do. And I love a TL, now I'm starting to love this TL, and it's gonna go to somebody really good when I'm done with it. So, guys, let's just jump right into this. I don't wanna dilly dally and take too much time up here. Let's hop in, get this done. Both jack stands, I'm gonna be under this part here. So, where we're gonna be is where all this goop is. So, observe all the goopiness. Yeah, we're nice and, nice and moist up in here. I don't know what all this is, we're gonna figure it out later, but we're worried about here. This is our drain plug, this is where we gotta get Gotta get it all drained out of here. Now, unfortunately, my dream, my pan flew away in some windy storm. So I gotta make do for what I have. And I don't know what I really got. So I got like a, a couple buckets, um, lots of cardboard, lots of newspaper. So I'm gonna try and make this not as messy as I can. I'm gonna do the best we can. I wanna unplug the dipstick as well. So it just has nice airflow. We're gonna get some very interesting results out of here. I can tell you that much. Okay, we're up top here. Now we got some things loosened up already. So we have to move this air box. Um, and then we have to the, take these bolts out here for the battery tray. So it's already loose by the previous owner, thank you very much. And then this is where we kind of have to be for the most of the time. Now, this is all nice and loose, good. Get you a big old random light. And then you still going through this, get things out of the way. Get this temp sensor here. There's your EGR sensor here too. So everything's a little more, more loose, at least for right now. So that's good to have. Otherwise, you don't need to have too many things out of the way. But just up here, this hose, this whole intake here, just kind of move everything out of the way, have much more access there. We want to see something completely overkill for this 10 millimeter bolt. Yeah. Thousand pound foot torque. Ooh, that was so fast and fun. Here we are. This is what the results look like. Battery tray here is gone. 12, two 12s here, 110. And then we have your whole air box intake system here. One bolt up there and another bolt hanging out, I believe. Where'd it go? There's another bolt somewhere else. But anyways, here is where we got to be. This is our housing for the transmission filter. I can guarantee you it is blacker than black. Probably darker than this or this or down there. But we need to remove this grounding cable and then we need to move this bolt, this bolt one down below, this banjo bolt, and then we will be good. We have to kind of move some stuff out of the way too here. So we have right here this plastic piece and it has this line here. We gotta pop it out 
It's a little tight and a little tough, but it can be done without breaking anything. We gotta move some stuff out of the way as much as we can. So let's go ahead and start working on this. Okay, get this one all the way back here. This 10 right under here. I can see a little stinker. What can I get to? So I had to go all the way kind of like back in here with this just to loosen it up. Now, once you just get kind of all the way in the back, loosen it up, you should be okay. I have all these great tips for you tonight. So right here is our line from the transmission. Now, this right here is gonna be stuck in here. I don't want to break these plastic pieces, but you want to take a screwdriver, press it in there, and twist, open it up, then you can pop it out. This is going to be hard metal, and down here is a rubber hose. But if we go back up here, it's the same thing up here. I'm going to kind of push the screwdriver on the one end, and try to kind of push this down and out a little bit too, so you can pop it out. It sounds like something's going to break, but it's not, so you, you should be pretty good though. All right, now I'm going to move on to getting this banjo bolt out have some paper towels or an old rag down below because there is going to be liquid coming out of there all right exciting times here people this is a 17 millimeter right here just busted that up so now it's loose let's take him out of this bad boy Ooh. yeah it's already looking nasty oh pop 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 yeah uh-huh could already see that liquid is gross oh look at that Ooh. It's like thick, like dark shit. Well, look at that. No, that's like beyond, that's like contamination up the wazoo. All right, come on, we got, oh man. Drive it off. Oh man, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. Uh, here. So moving on here, we have to get this pulley off, but this is in the way. So what I'm gonna do, I, I kind of bend it up a little bit and then I just push it out of the way like that. So not bad, not really gonna hurt anything. If you ever smelled used differential fluid before, ho, 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 ho. you should probably go smell it. And that's why GM makes a grape scented one right now, too. So you can have it in all kinds of your favorite flavors pina colada, coconut, hey, pina colada, and coconut, same thing. I'm so excited. Look at that. Like dark chocolate. This is quality TV right here. Maybe a little wiggling to convince them use a very light, maybe a rubber mount. I wonder if you got a gap like that. Stick it on the screwdriver right in there. There we go. Kind of all around a little bit. Don't mess anything up. It's got on the wall. Go to the other side beyond that cliff. Push as well. Oh. Okay, so what the older owner told me before, they went ahead and drain and fill the fluid, used, I think, Valvoline Max Life. Two things. Oh, like I said, you're not supposed to use Max Life, except in dire situations, and that's readily available. Two, it's already dark. Like, it's already burnt up the zoo. And it's like, it's syrup. And I'm not gonna what he did, but it seems a little suspicious. So we got the plate here, and that gasket's pretty darn flat. So I'm gonna save that for later. Is everyone ready for this? Oh, wow. Look at that. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, what is, whoa. What is this? The bottom disintegrated. What is, what is this? Oh, look at this. It's completely, oh my gosh. I think we might have found the issue. Look at this thing. I'm shocked. I am blown away right now. This is disintegrate. It's breaking apart in my hand like this. This is not right. Wow. I think I found our issue, people. <laughs> it was supposed to look like this. It's both. This is bad. I don't know. This one's going to be my trophies. Get some stuff out of the inside here. We have our spring. So, just gonna put that out. I'm gonna place that so it has the buoyancy it needs. It. Wow, I found the plates right here. Okay, it's not stuck in there. Good, good. It's okay, Akira. I got you, baby. I got you. I know, it's sick, but this is why I kind of like working on transmission, transmission filters and fluids, because of crap like this. I don't even know if this is OEM, honestly. This, this just does not look right. 
too cheap or it's been in there for way too long. Alright. Well, probably gonna cancer from this one. Yeah, yeah. Probably gonna cancer. No, no, I'm not taking that. No, I'm not gonna get cancer. I'm just gonna let my, my liver and you know, take everything out. Alright, all right. Okay, so that one we got everything out of here, and then inside there was only a spring you have to take out, so that's good. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the bottom and we're gonna drain everything out. This is gonna be interesting because I don't even have my proper uh, stuff to drain. Can we not have it explode all over the place? My plan here is to have one of my oil bucket containers or any freeze. My calculations are correct. No! There's something I got. All the precautionary measures right below. So, let's see what happens here. Got this thing cut some plastic in a hole right down the bottom here. And now, stuck this underneath. Booyah! Ready to roll. Alright. Prepare yourself. Give me a good one. This is gonna be ugly or genius. Which one do you think is, this is gonna be, guys? Ugly or genius? Comment below. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh. 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 Snap. Focus. Focus. Ah. That's not focusing. I underestimated my hole. Uh oh. Oh shoot. Oh, thank God for all this paper. There it is. Just a little bit. So yeah, honestly, not the worst I've seen for a magnet. All right, so where are we now? Well, we put the plug back into the bottom for the pan. Then I went ahead and took right down in here. We got this big bolt out. Now this is the fill plug. Now you want to use this to more fill up the transmission fluid. Now it's a 17 millimeter bolt. You want a breaker bar and a um, impact socket because this is tight. Now you'll take it up, you'll start to take it off. You'll hear the like creaks and crank and bang. And you feel like you broke something, but you actually didn't. And this happened multiple times to me with this bolt and that's, that's okay. It, it needs to come loose. That just means it's been way too long. So again, another reason why I think just, I don't think, I, I just don't feel like the fluid was changed for some reason. I know they said they did, but it just doesn't add up to me fully. It just doesn't add up. Uh, not, not, but anyways, so we had to take my bag of cat litter. We had to go nuts down here, cleaning all this up. So it looks really clean now, doesn't it? Uh -huh. I don't think I really even got any on the pavement as well. Thank goodness, finally. So everything's in this <laughs> bag over here. So next thing we got to do, we got to go ahead and put everything together for the filter and put this back in and clean it up. Then we got to fill it with fluid here. And then we'll go from there. Ah, a fresh filter. Beautiful. Nice and vibrant red. Oh, everything we need. Okay, so what we have is the filter. We have the gasket on top, brand new. New spring. And then we got a, a new washer here too. I'm gonna get one right here. And then we got our old, fat, old regular banjo bolt right there. Put the other, as well, the gasket right on here. So here's some of the old negativity. Yeah. This thing on top here is kind of squishy. It's, uh, it's too loose, it's too, too broken. And then we got the old old spring. I don't want to trust it. Then we have this. It definitely expands, so yeah. We're not gonna trust it. And it's kind of flat. And well, yeah, that. Yeah, we have to put this all back together. The inside here, as you see from this picture, we have to center the spring right in the middle. And we put the we put this all together. What I usually do is I just kind of set this in there very gently. I set this in there, then you know put this in, put the filter in there too, and try to maneuver it so it gets right on top of there. So you kind of have to feel around for it when you do this. It's going to take some maneuvering, some time, but you can do it. You know we don't want this to be off or anything like that. You, you want the spring to be just right. So make sure you get that right and move it around just a little bit. Maybe try a few times, take it in and out, but you should be able to get, you should be able to kind of place this in there inside. It should kind of sit, not perfectly, it is pretty loose. So you gotta be careful, but make sure this is lines up right on the back there and then you'll be excellent. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we got the whole cover back on here. Not too bad. 
kind of wiggle in the place a little bit. Use some uh, transmission fluid around the edge a little bit, kind of squeeze it in there. Once it's kind of sit in place, put the, the three 10 millimeter bolts in and then kind of start them by hand a little bit, tighten them by hand. Then take a 10 mil ratchet or wrench. You know, you keep, keep tightening them a little bit at a time. We just kind of go in a circle a little bit at a time and not one fully. Just kind of do one at a time until you make it all the way down to snug on all of them. Make sure you get the top lined up there with that little marker as well. Now it's time to go ahead and we're gonna put our gingerbread back together. So we have to do one, one goes first and then second goes after the banjo bolt. So pop this back together now. And don't do what I just did and put all this nice brand new red fluid all over the place because you know you filled it up too fast. It's a very slow fill so just take your time. Almost there guys, grounding wire all hooked up, all the back in place. Now it's time to put all the accessories back on here for the, the piping, tubing, plugs and everything like that. There it is. That simple, but could be kind of complicated as well. But we did it, everything is back together. New fluid, new filter and hardware. Ah, it's a beautiful thing to see. That old stuff was horrendous. I think the filter had to be in there from the very beginning, which is unacceptable. That thing was deteriorating and the, the, the glue was breaking apart. That is bad. So now we have a chance for this beautiful machine to come back to life and filter out all the impurities that are in there but we still have to do a drain fill three times right now we just did door on number one so for tonight we're going to start it up and see how it rides and speaking of which let's do it right now listen virtually almost gone that whizzing whining sound oh man i'm excited I can't believe it. She's making it. Her fingers. Get smooth. You know, she's getting all of her quirks and kinks kind of worked out there. Just warming up. And getting all those that air out. So awesome. Okay. We're good. We're good. A few more minutes of it fully warm. We'll go through the gears and maybe just, you know, go around the lot here, see what she does. But I think we have some really good success here so far. That wine is lessened substantially right so far. It's only been a few minutes. I'm gonna roll through the gears just a little bit. Let's see, reverse. Oh, oh, very nice, I think. Okay, neutral. Just a little hard hitting, but probably the, the mounts are going absolutely gone. All right, drive. Okay, okay. Shooting to, to first, second. Okay, nothing there. too much there. Low. First. Okay. She's a lot sharper, a lot faster in the shifting. Let's go back to park. Reverse. Engage. That's so fast. Come on. All right, give me gas. Wow. Right, drive. Engaged. I think we're doing it! Dude, she's driving! Yeah! Filter shift, second brand, second gear! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh, I'm so excited. I'm not taking it on the main road yet, no way. Too sketchy. I think we're gonna cut it here, and let's just jump to the next day. And by next day, I mean this. Oh no. Uh oh. We have a situation. Oh, no. Ah, the suspension, everything banging and bogging. The won't shift right. We're going down hard, yo. Ah. And that's how you replace a transmission filter and fluid on an Acura TL of this era. Now, this is one of the most crucial, important things I think you could do on these cars to have the best longevity ever. As you can see, the filter on this was horrendous. It had to be in there since the beginning of this car being bought back in 2005. But I am so pleased that we were able to clean this up, get this running, and move it around the area. What a relief. 
And yes, this video is complete and this is how you do the work on these components. But there is a video coming up after this that will keep you on the edge of your seat and is pretty suspenseful because it goes over some of the extra things I'm doing to the car and especially the transmission, just like the solenoids that come out of the side of it. So I hope you stay tuned for that one because there is so much happening in that and you guys will really enjoy it. But until then, what do you guys think of this video? I hope it really helped you out because I know I love doing these. But if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section down below and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you really like this video and make sure you subscribe for when that video comes out next for this whole thing i promise it's much more exciting than some shaky footage looking at a speedometer all right that's it for now but again thank you guys so much for watching and well thank you all very much for getting me to 700 subscribers i know that sounds like a little bit but for me this is a lot and it's huge and i appreciate every single one of you and continue to support me and my efforts to bring you video content that is funny fun adventurous and very helpful so with your continued support and likes and subscribes and comments i can keep doing this and i can keep that, that drive to bring it all to you all along the way Again, thank you so much for everyone. This is GT Sam, and I'm gonna catch you next time. And so, with the eyes of the nation upon us,